When you enter the gate of Auschwitz, there's a sign that says, work makes free. It liberates. Nice saying, but it was a lie. The work meant death for these people that entered Auschwitz. One of the most amazing stories about forgiveness that I've ever heard in my life came out of Auschwitz. The commandant of Auschwitz, uh, his name was Rudolf Hess, H-O-E-S-S. -S. Uh, the other Rudolf Hess was second, second in command of all of Germany with, with Hitler. This Rudolf Hess was the commandant of Auschwitz. Now Auschwitz was a death camp connected to Birkenau. And uh, this guy was brutal. His family lived about 100 yards away from Auschwitz with a swimming pool and wine and cheese and the life. In fact, his wife wrote back to Germany and she said, it's like living in paradise. This is only a few feet from where people are being thrown into the gas chambers. This is Rudolf Hess. He was brutal. He was responsible for over a million deaths. At the end of the war, when, when the people were liberated, the, the Poles took over and Hess took on a different name and he hid. They found him. They brought him back to Auschwitz and they tried him. And they found him guilty of crimes against humanity in the penalty, hanging. They were going to kill him. But when he was the commandant of Auschwitz earlier, he commanded that all of these Jesuit priests be brought in here and killed. So he went out and I believe it was seven of them he rounded up. And uh, the leader of the, of the seven was somewhere else that day. They didn't get him. So the seven were brought to Auschwitz and uh, uh, this leader, this uh, priest, came back and he found that they were gone and they, he heard that they were taken to Auschwitz. So he went to Auschwitz and he said to Hess, take me. I want to die with my brother priest. I'm not going to die out there. I'm going to be with them when they die. And Hess said, get out of here. Get out of here. He said, no, I'm, I am going to die with, with my brother priest. Well, he ended up pushing him away and they didn't take him. He was gone, the priest. Then the war is over and they, get, they end up getting Hess and they try him, as I said, and he's, he's convicted of uh, crimes against humanity and the penalty is death. Five days before he died, he asked to see a priest. You see, he was raised Catholic. He would called on to see a priest, and you know what they said to him? Who in the heck do you think is going to come in here and hear you after everything you have done to Catholics and to the intellectuals, to the Poles and to the Jews and the Gypsies? He said, I know of a man who's a priest. Go get him. Here's his name. They found him. They brought him to Auschwitz. And Rudolf Hess met with the priest and made a confession and received the Eucharist. And he died and was hung right there. That's mercy. That's forgiveness. That's the power of the divine mercy in Poland. And some of our people were even thinking, that's not right. That's not fair that you could live a life like that and you could do what you did to all those people and at the last minute go to confession and receive the Eucharist and die. That's mercy. Do not begrudge the generosity of the master. Someone starts working at 9, 12, 3, 5, all got the same. You've been working since 9 in the morning. Someone else since, since noon. This guy got in an hour before shop closed. And he got his eternal reward. Don't be upset. Rejoice in the generosity of our Father. That is forgiveness.